to the 3 discs news for the month of June. A lot of cool stuff this month. Let's start by Rapid Tools that release UV Reactor. It's a very promising UV and grab system inside 3ds Max. Unlike the modifier based UV and grab modifier included in 3ds Max, this new tool is modifier independent. So it can be open at all times, totally independent and detached from the modifier panel. More in line in how other software manage UVs. It's not the only difference, it also uses instruction sets on your CPU to be 8 times faster than any other tool, according to Rapid Tools developer. In some tests, 1.5 million polys with thousands of islands have been packed in less than 7 seconds. It's OpenGL accelerated, so you can work in UV Reactor in real time even with millions of polys, as you can see on, this, on these videos. It has a huge amount of other advantages, being able to use any selection tool that you are already used to in 3ds Max, new ungrapping and multi-stitching tools and more. It supports 3ds Max 2020 to 2025 and the tool costs 100 euros for an indie license. If you want more information, you can watch an in-deep review from Render RAM covering the product in different scenarios and showcasing what can do with uh, real assets. And we get another huge improvement this month, and it's Aquarius. It's from Magic Pictures that did a complete overhaul of his measure and solver, AccuMeasure, and now rebranded as Aquarius. The new changes are indeed quite big. We have now an NPM solver could accelerated, capable to simulate liquids, sand, snow or mud. Together with its grid and flip solvers that has been improved, allow the artist for a wide variety of solvers to use for each scenario. It also can simulate a smoke and fire, it has a complete node system with all types of math nodes for low level control and all types of VDB manipulation. A very cool new solver in 3ds Max. Mark Blosser released Unreal Engine to 3ds Max Biped version 2, a tool to batch convert multiple animations from Unreal to 3ds Max Biped, compatible with Max 2010 and newer. The tool costs $15, but free to upgrade from customers that purchase the first version. Mark demonstrates how the new tool performs in action, converting 500 animations from Unreal with just one click. And if you are interested in those 500 files provided by Unreal for free, Norberto Aguilera converted all of them with the previous tool and is sharing it to download it for free. This month Norberto has been on fire, also did a lot of incredible animations. This one is inspired by the series Blue Eye Samurai, that by the way was done also using 3ds Max. He also created a tutorial for rigging in Biped. And all these files that you can see here are available to download for free from 3DPod website. That is increasing on really quality content exclusively for 3ds Max, so check it out. Rama Khalid shared for free AV Layers Manager. Super useful when you want to create consistent layers to manage your 3ds Max scenes. And you don't want to create them from scratch all the time. So you will have consistent naming all the time across different scenes. This tool will allow you to create your layers beforehand and on any new project create them with one single click. Abyss Studio created a new way to interact with your 3ds Max scenes. It allows to access from the viewport directly to all types of scene parameters, commonly used object properties and actions, like switch to a new layer and way more. This script is free, with option to buy a subscription for future improvements. 
Meow's released Statistica, an important improvement to the classic but limited statistics in 3ds Max viewport. It allows to select on viewport as many important information from your scene as you want and place it wherever you want from the viewport. Showcase the layer name of the selected object, the size of the selected object, number of total objects selected, the number of total, total lights in your scene or helpers, the position, the rotation, the scale information, and much, much more. So each artist can configure what information they want easily accessible on viewport at all the time. The tool costs only 6 euros. Chaos released Cosmos Update 11 with 650 new high quality 3D models and materials. This time comes with 190 new people models from AXYZ and Enscape, more than 300 new materials, more than 50 new models of trees and plants by Glove Plants, new furniture from different brands, and new HDRIs and interior furniture. Some improvements have been done to the gallery with the ability to do multi-asset selection, to download and update and delete multiple assets faster than before. Lots of tutorials this month as well. We have a tutorial from Chaos in how to create a realistic Molotov explosion using Typhlow and Phoenix. Very great results. From Shirsat Barami, we have a tutorial very interesting sponsored by Autodesk covering MaxScript in how to script a physics-based animation in 3ds Max, something that you will not found uh, much often in for free in YouTube. And another sponsor series by Autodesk, and that I totally recommend, by the legend itself, Paul Neal. It's a seven series tutorials showcasing how to work more procedurally in 3ds Max. Paul will cover different techniques he used on his diorama to place vegetation, rivers, bridges, and a house, using different new modifiers in Max, like the Ray modifier, Comfort modifier, and OSL materials. He will cover how to create a smart and easy rigs to keep a non-destructive scene. And I am sure you will discover more than one thing that will boost your workflows and productivity with this series that I absolutely love it. Paul also did a very short tutorial about another interesting procedural rig with this gooey sphere, very cool, using simply soft selection and some push modifiers creating very interesting effects. And we have the master, Sap Anderson itself, that did a talk about Open PBR during FMX 2024. Open PBR will be the newest standard material across multiple apps and will substitute the physical material in 3ds Max. So worth watching if you want to go more technical into the different aspects of this new Open PBR material. And on 3ds Max is only 4 RGB. Autodesk released the annual Autodesk Media and Entertainment Showreel with the stunning works from different studios using 3ds Max or Maya. You can see some stuff that we saw during the 3ds Max news during this past year. Lunar is the final project by 10 classmates after 5 years at New Edge. In total, 6 months to complete. And as we can see on the making of, modeling, rendering, scene assembly and animations has been done in 3ds Max with very cool rigs rendered with V-Ray with effects done in Houdini and an impressive final project. Super spectacular to see what some students can, can realize. Uh, amazing work, guys. The 
last month we covered the stunning work by Piotr Tatar covering this Breaking Bad scene and this month we have the making of equally worth watching where we can see 3ds Max and Tide Flow in action on this stunning environment really great if you didn't watch the the previous video watch it but the making of is also very well done and you can see a lot of details that maybe you missed on the on the full on the full video Malvar's animations share a cool biped rig that he did for a dragon every month showing something very cool using biped and yeah for people that say that uh, Max is not used for animation always we can see here on these videos more and more cool stuff And we learned in a stack Facebook group that Guttering Wave, a new cross-platform open-world action RPG, used Biped for the opening cinematics and looks very, very good. Shirzad Barami shared the work that he did on CIGNI All Guns Blazing on the video game by Killworks. All the boss rigs are done in 3ds Max, all the extractions and simulations done in Typeflow, and the high quality crowd simulations are done by Custom Tools and CAD. All animations also done in 3ds Max. And if you want more information, Autodesk did a and if you want more information, Autodesk did a talk with the game studio Killworks showcasing how they was using 3ds Max for the game when it was in development last year. Uh, pretty extensive talks where they covered a lot of 3ds Max uh, insights about how they create this, this awesome game. And From Software, the video game and from software, the game developers has talked to CG Wall about his work on Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon, covering how they approach the new title. And we can see how the models for the new mechas were done in 3ds Max and Biped was used for all the animations. And if you know from software, you know that this month we had a new DLC for his new successful game Elden Ring called Shadow of the Air Tree. We know 3ds Max has been used in modeling and animation for the game itself, but also the very cool trailer by Unit Engine has been done as well with 3ds Max and rendered in V-Ray as they showcase on ArtStation. So 3ds Max used on the video game for modeling, animation, and for animatics, bringing the low-res models into high-res and creating stunning presentations. Make create a spot for Take Me Fishing for Father's Day. As usual, the great quality provided by this studio that used 3ds Max for all areas from modeling, animation, rendering, and effects with a very nice story. And a very cool demo reel from Blodia for the game Hyper Universe, displaying Biped on all its glory with plenty of different and interesting animations for this video game that I didn't know at anything at all, but the animations looks very good and one more time, Biped, uh, very useful for these things. And we have Timo Muraha that shared this beautiful CG cinematic of a GT300GR Supra. 
he's using V-Ray GPU and Ember Gen, and you can see that very nice photography on all these shots, pretty stunning, very clean renders, uh, congratulations. And that's all for this month, guys. I hope that you like it. A lot of things in 3ds Max. Thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helps me a ton. This month we had three, four different new tutorials and more things coming. This month we had Destruction and we had some cloth to high res some cloth stuff. And yeah, thank you to all of you guys that give a like, give a comment and share this with your friends and you are subscribed, helping a lot growing this channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye.